<laughs> All right. Welcome back. Hello. Last Friday in October. The whole month kind of went by it did. pretty quickly. Halloween really snuck up on me around my house, too. Yeah. Usually we decorate and everything and, and do hardly anything this year. Yeah, my kid decided that she's having some friends over, and she decided to only allow the appropriate Halloween decorations out. So hmm. I found all the stuff in the garage, and I'm like, well, what happened? Apparently they weren't classy enough. So anyway, um, welcome back. Uh, uh, October 27th, uh, a little bit later than usual. Thank you, Sebastian. Uh, uh, just one uh, note of a little bit of a sad note. Uh, Mike Branson, mm -hmm. our former city forester who had been with the city his entire career, his father, local Monterey pediatrician, died recently. So our condolences yeah. to the Branson family. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, Mike was very involved in um, in scouting and his father as well. So Mike, we, uh, we certainly share our condolences, the entire city family with your family. Um, in other news, all the news that fits, uh, we are, uh, Nova Romero is, is hosting um, Bay Area city clerks, very, very important and often um, underappreciated function in local mm -hmm. government. So we welcome them this morning with Max. Um, thank you, city clerks, for what you do. You Please. were saying it's such an important position. In some cities still, it's an elected position. Yeah, some cities it's elected. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a little bit of an older school uh, of thought on it. But uh, city clerks, uh, you know, do the, do the heavy lifting on getting information out to the public mm -hmm. and, again, are, are sometimes unappreciated. And we appreciate what you do and certainly, Nova, what you do to mm -hmm. uh, uh, get information to staff and the council and the public. So. Um, a very nice article. Thank you, Mary Schley, for the article on Paul Tomasi. I think the most excited person, uh, aside from me, of course, and you, is my mother. Um, so she already, thank you, Grandma, for uh, volunteering to write um, Paul a, a welcome back note. I'm sure he'll appreciate that as well. <laughs> I think we'll have her on the vlog when she visits. One oh, time, that would Brandon. be what do you think? wonderful. We'll have to Say get, hi to her in person. I'll have to get some phone books for her to sit on. She's a smaller human being. So anyway, um, that's happening. Um, I finished uh, with several employees um, AED training. Um, we have a defibrillator in the, uh, if that's the way I, I, I incorrectly pronounce it, in, the, um, in all our city buildings now. Um, uh, Tyler Hart Institute donated those to local jurisdictions. So mm -hmm. I got to learn the difference between heart attacks and, uh, and electrical problems when people's hearts stop. So uh, we're all prepared to, um, to help people um, if, if something goes wrong. Yeah, hopefully with, uh, not, but it's good to be prepared. Yeah, so that's good. And then meeting with one of our just volu wonderful volunteer groups, the Karma by the Sea Garden Club this afternoon with, with Mary Bilsey. And um, thank you for all that you do. Um, very, again, somewhat underappreciated by, I think, the general, the general community uh, to some degree, but really appreciated by, by the city for all the work that you do. So that's what I got. A lot of thanks, I guess, this morning. We, so. Have, so many, we have so many groups, so many volunteer groups, and uh, you know, our friends of things, yeah. um, which is so special for such a small place to have so many of those. So we're yeah. very lucky as a, as a government enterprise to have so many citizen volunteer mm -hmm. groups and we can yeah, the city would not look the way it does without mm -hmm. those groups so absolutely we're, we're very very yeah grateful. thank you to all of them um i just have a few i have actually a thank you to teeing off of your thank yous thanks to the carmel residents association uh for hosting the uh the town hall with uh laird and addis mm -hmm. uh this week up at carmel high school um i unfortunately wasn't able to attend but i did watch the video so if you didn't if you didn't make it either if you had something else going on like i did um, the video is online, and you can check that out. I believe on the CRA's website, and we may, we'll we'll put a link in today's um, Friday letter. It as was well. really it was well attended, mm -hmm. and Graham did a great. Graham Robertson, the president of the CRA, did a great introduction. Um, Paul Miller did a great job facilitating mm -hmm. and asking questions, and certainly the senator and the assembly member uh, did their best job in answering some of the questions about. Uh, you know what fits communities like like ours versus the larger communities like the big five you know mm -hmm. los angeles and san francisco and san jose and san diego yeah and speaking of housing um if you want to be part of that conversation here locally because that's what it's all about is we have a our next housing ad hoc meeting with the community <clears throat> on november 13th by that time we will have our letter back from the state mm -hmm. our 90-day review letter on our first draft of our housing element uh, so we'll be sharing those comments with the ad hoc committee um, and, and looking for some feedback on how to proceed forward with that. Yep. Uh, 4 p.m. November 13th here 
in the chambers. Yeah, I think the best, you know, the best part of what Marnie and Catherine have done is they've maintained good communications with um, with the state mm -hmm. throughout our drafting process and then since we've submitted the draft to yeah. them. So I think that that kind of legwork um, uh, bodes well. So we we'll, we should see next week at this time we'll have. Yeah, and we got a little preview indication. and I will, you know, I'll just tease it out there that, you know, we're not going to be getting the 20, 30, 40 page letter from HCD that many of the cities have gotten because of that relationship that Marnie and Catherine um, have fostered so well with HCD. You know, it's good. We're still going to have some comments. Yep. I mean, I think it's expected to have a few, but it's going to be, you know, a few pages uh, versus a tome yep. of, of criticism of our, of our plan. So we'll discuss those on the 13th at 4 p.m. Um, also from a meeting coming up, we've got the Planning Commission special meeting on November 15th in the evening mm -hmm. to discuss, uh, just do a workshop on our draft ADU ordinance. So no decisions being made. It's just a workshop. So what time is that one? Uh, we haven't nailed down a time, but it'll be normal around the normal planning commission time between four and five o'clock. Uh, so we'll get the we'll get the exact time, whether it's four thirty or five o'clock here very soon. But November fifteenth, mark your calendars for that. Um, also, uh, just keeping with the participation theme, our urban forestry survey is still online. Mm -hmm. uh, this is if you um, we'd love you to get involved and give us your feedback on uh, the urban forest and we're redoing the urban forest management plan right now the public works team is hard at work on that uh, So community feedback is of course very important. Yeah, there's that. been some rhetoric on that I'm sort of for cutting Please, you off, no. but you know, I mean the this is where we're gonna, you know prepare for the era of our changing forest um, and get input from the community obviously as we draft this Bob's working on a chronology uh, of you know what happens next and when this eventually gets to uh, amending our our statute and our general plan, but you know I, I can't see the big four trees that's Coast Live Oak, um, Coast Redwood, Monterey Pine, Monterey Cypress not continuing to be the trees that we focus most on for our replanting efforts, their revitalization, renewal of the urbanized forest. So there's been some weird rhetoric out there. Um, we're trying to get right tree in right place, which is something that Councilmember Reamers talked about years ago, uh, and making sure that the trees that we replant in our small tree wells in the downtown are appropriately sized. Yeah, you can't, you put, you can't put a redwood about. tree in a one square foot tree well. Yeah, That's, it's, it's not going to live, uh, yeah. and if it does, it's going to destroy the street and the sidewalk. Yeah. So yeah, just again, the feedback that we receive from the public will help educate decision makers and help again, mm -hmm. again us draft a plan so yeah thank and you. so that that survey closes there's still time survey closes <coughs> november 13th at noon very specific time um so and that's not to say we're not going to continue to take comments no through, no this is just process. this this vehicle for getting comments correct and correct um, and then the last thing most important thing arguably is uh you know next week's spooky week uh, starting already it feels like uh, pumpkin roll on Saturday, the famous infamous pumpkin roll starts at 11 from 11 to 1. Mm -hmm. uh, also on Saturday is Howloween, H-O-W-L. It's a play on words because it's about oh, dogs. Know, you get it. it? Thank you. Yeah, yeah you're yeah, welcome. I'm, I'm not that smart, but thank yeah, you. Yeah, 10 to 11 at Forest Theater. So go check that out. We love our dogs in town. Get to go see them dressed up. Uh, whether they like it or not, they're getting dressed up. So go check that out at Forest Theater. And then the Halloween parade, the main event is uh, Tuesday, 4.30 p.m. We start up at the top of the hill, Unipero, uh, come down to the bottom, Monteverde, turn around, go back up, and it's all... Pretty much the world's longest parade. The glorious, all glorious eight minutes of it yep. up and down the street. But everybody will be there. The city council, members of our boards and commissions, you'll be there, I'll be there. Yep. A lot of my staff will be there, um, all members of the city, uh, either helping you know, control traffic or actually walking in the parade. So we'd love to see as many people out on the street as possible. It's a lot of fun. It's the city's birthday also. Yep. It's yeah, an we odd were, one. We were yeah. born on Halloween. Yeah, we're a Halloween it's baby. Not entirely surprising yeah. sometimes. Um, and, and I think that you hit on something. Thank you to the crews who will be here tomorrow from Public Works and Community Activities and the Library who will be helping set up these events. Mm -hmm. And for all the hard work that Ashley and Leslie have done and, and Katie and everyone else. Absolutely. Bob's, uh, you know, Bob's team. Um, for both events. Mm -hmm. So uh, the middle event, which is the Halloween plan words, is not our event, that's but right. it is at the Forest Theater. It is, so. it is at a city facility, though. It is. Yeah. We own yeah. it. That's right. For the, for, the, for the community. That's right. In trust. In trust. That's right. And that's all I got. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Uh, have a good weekend. I'll see you, you too. for tennis. Uh, maybe. We'll all see. Right. All right. Take, Take good, good care. care.